It seems like we're always hearing news about Disney stock price going down again. I mean, every time it seems like they're trying to bring themselves up again and again, like people probably buying the dip, something just happens to knock it right back down again. Right now, the price is currently sitting at uh, 8164 a share, which still seems like a lot when you consider that. But I mean, also, it's around a nine ten year low for the company and also one thing that's even more crazy when you look at the five year total for the company uh this is actually lower now than when it was uh right here in march 20th of 2020 where it was sitting at just under 86 dollars a share and this was the time when the government forced everything to shut down and that means disney didn't have their cruise lines they didn't have movie theaters to show their movies they didn't have their theme parks i mean they were basically had none of their major money-making sources and yet they were still better off then than they are now and of course they did have their streaming service which was actually very successful for them and that was probably their saving grace as a company was the fact that people were forced to stay home and watch tv and that happened to coincide with when they were launching their streaming service so you can see it brought them up to uh, all-time high for the company i mean but even then it still was short-lived and a lot of people are saying that the streaming service is kind of burst right now and right now this latest news that's happening with the company is has to do with the tv services so one of the biggest cable companies says cable tv isn't working charter communications told investors friday that it's fraught negotiations with the walt disney company was a sign of a larger problem with the traditional cable tv business model now this article right here is from the new york times and in this it's saying that there's problems with the traditional cable tv model like these negotiations with different companies and things like that it is almost reflective or at least in my opinion almost reflective of the streaming service model but i'll get a little bit more onto that in a bit but right now with the way things are going it's not user or it's not consumer friendly it's basically becoming too expensive and there's just too much of it for the consumer and that's why people are basically abandoning the traditional cable tv model so in this article, it says uh, this presentation comes amid negotiations between Charter and the Walt Disney Company, owner of the popular cable channels, including ESPN and FX, which will not be available to Charter's nearly 15 million pay TV subscribers until both sides agree on how much Charter will pay Disney to carry its channels. Subscribers to Charter Spectrum TV service will be without access to the U.S.'s open tennis tournaments and college football games during a holiday weekend. So obviously after that was announced, that's when we saw the Disney price uh, just dip quite a bit. And I, and I know they're probably going to recover from this. But even then, that's still bad news for the company. And especially when you consider that this might be by design because CEO Bob Iger has made statements in the past. Uh, this is reported by cnbc from last february that uh, he wants to see streaming service be the future of the company and pretty much every movie he's made since then has kind of indicated that's what he believes i mean back in june he made statements actually looking to have a partner for espn and maybe even sell off fx entirely uh, and uh, so this was also uh, kind of reiterated during the last uh, q3 earnings call back in august where he was saying like he wants to kind of push the whole disney plus platform and things like that they're also going to be raising prices on it or whatever to try to get more revenue despite the fact that the company uh, with the way they're currently going has lost millions of subscribers uh, within the quarter alone and also around 800 million dollars so things aren't going good but yet he's just doubling and tripling and quadrupling down on the disney plus platform because he thinks that's what needs to be done even though like we're seeing with the, all these different streaming platforms coming about is it's almost doing what the whole cable companies did in the past which is there's just going to be an oversaturation and as a result everything's going to get more expensive and we're going to see consumers basically just i don't know i mean there's not the digital equivalent of cutting the cord but kind of that which i don't think people are just going to stop watching entertainment content entirely but what we probably will see is a lot more people basically just uh wait for a, one streaming service to provide something that they want like i don't know when Netflix has a new season of Stranger Things come out or whatever. People are going to uh, basically pay for the month of subscription, binge whatever they want to watch during that time frame, and then cancel their subscription and then move on to something else. They're not going to be sticking around like uh, companies like Disney were hoping for. And I think what Bob Iger was really wanting was honestly to be the kind of the top dog on the block once things uh, kind of die off. Because I think he knows that all these cable or uh, these streaming services aren't going to be around forever. So what he was hoping is basically use the weight of all the other Disney revenue streams to basically support the streaming service while they basically 
uh, withstand uh, the losses more than these other ones. And then once they ha are forced to sell off or whatever, start uh, licensing their material to other services, then Disney will basically be the one picking up the scraps and being the one uh, reigning supreme. But the way things are looking, I mean, they've been suffering so many losses. I don't think that that's actually going to happen. And probably the reverse is going to be more likely where they're going to be the ones starting to licensing their material to other networks and other services. And we're kind of seeing that in the, right now we got this uh, article also from Pirates and Princesses uh, talking about this whole thing. So it says uh, right now, uh, might not be the best time for the Walt Disney Company to try to squeeze more money out of their carriers and customers. Disney is already facing a huge PR crisis with their movies underperforming at the box office, looming Disney Plus price hikes, lower theme park and resort hotel attendance, lawsuits, oversaturation of Marvel and Star Wars, the Hollywood strikes, the company being called woke and allegedly chasing off families. Disney cannot afford more stock losses. Their stock hasn't been below $80 a share since 2014. Now might not be a good time to make some of the decisions they're making. And yeah, I think a lot of this has to do with the hubris, just kind of just hubris from Bob Iger, who thinks that they can, uh, they're Disney, so they can do whatever they want. And th no company is above all of this. I mean, any company can fail, I and mean, even one as large as Disney, if they're just making all the wrong moves. And so far, we're seeing Disney make all the wrong moves. Now, am I saying that the company is going to go bankrupt? No, I think that's a little far fetched. I don't think it's going to necessarily happen anytime soon. But they're definitely not going to be what they are trying to be. And ultimately, when Bob Iger came into the company, his tenure as CEO has basically been Disney buying up any other smaller thing around them. I mean, we saw them do that with like Lucasfilm and Marvel and things like that. But ultimately, if they want to sustain themselves, I think they're going to have to sell off what he's basically been getting for the company. And when he, or at least by the time he leaves, we might see the company actually smaller than when he started with them. But let me know what you think about all this in the comment section below. And if you like this video, make sure you click that like button, share the video and subscribe to the channel if you want to stay up to date with the latest news. Thank you.